So a little change of plans. We went ahead and got the other seat put in. And uh, before we pull the interior apart and take all the doors off of it to uh, get ready to finish painting, probably a good idea to go ahead and uh, build a center console. So went and got a big sheet of MDF board. And so I'm going to probably go out and kind of get a rough sketch of what I think I want. There's a ton of room in between these seats. So it's probably going to be a pretty good size console. Uh, got to get the, we've got to make some mounts to kind of relocate the uh, seat belts, but shouldn't be a big deal to do that. And uh, so I'm probably, uh, probably going to go find some cardboard now and start making me a template of, of what looks good. Alrighty, so I've made a couple little sketches trying to get some ideas on what I think I want it to look like and then then we can work it into the truck and figure out what actually works. So I think it's probably going to be something like this here. So right here is going to be, you know, the armrest, it steps down, cup holders, then steps all the way down, it's flat, and then the radio is going to go here and we're going to have a speaker on the side here so it's always a good idea to kind of figure out what you've got and what you kind of you know what you think you want how many components you've got going into it, whether you've got a switchboard or outlets or whatever you got going on but so got a got a sketch going on there and so it'll probably get changed a couple times but now i'm starting to make the template of cardboard on the inside here and it's just a bunch of i mean it's kind of crude right now but i think that's going to be pretty close to what we may end up with um i'm hoping the radio should sit up there pretty well um and then the angle there i mean obviously i'm gonna cut that off i'm gonna leave probably a gap here but i'm not for sure um i may take it up a little higher but for now i'm going to leave a little gap there so that's kind of what i'm looking at the thing is the center console is going to be huge i mean you can see all the room we've got in between the seats there is a tape measure here and it is you know just bolster to bolster you are looking at somewhere around 19 inches 19 and a half inches so that's kind of what i'm worried about of how wide like the the armrest part i'm not super concerned about but like the radio part let me grab my radio template back here sorry so my radio template which is here this is cut to 17 and a quarter. Oh no. Broken. Anyway. You can kind of get the idea. But it's cut to 17 and a quarter. And it's going to be. You know it's going to be that big. And we're not trying to cover up any of this stuff. So I got to stay below that. But I got to be wide enough. So it may come in. I may do like I've done in the ranch, opposite of what I did the ranchero, and you know, come in here, step it in, angle, make this part a little narrower to come up to here. That way, you just don't have this massive center console. But I think I'm going to keep going with all the same size or pretty close to it to see what it looks like. Because I can always, you know, I'm gonna. This is probably going to be one of many templates. That's usually how this goes. Because you know everything looks a little different once you start trying to size it so that's kind of what it's looking like so far so i'm probably just going to build a solid console right now and see what it looks like it may not look you know it may not look that bad once you get you know the radio up here uh the cup holders here uh we do actually have some switches or some buttons and like your cigarette lighter outlets and things like that to go here so you know there may be enough stuff here that breaks it up where it doesn't look as as big and you know intrusive as, as what it might be and even where it sits now which is pretty close you still got plenty of room for your feet 
so shouldn't be that big a deal to uh try to get that set up all right so i didn't i didn't end up recording kind of planning this and that's really because it's just a whole lot of sitting there and looking at what you got and trying to figure it out and the best thing to do is just to do it even if it doesn't look right in your head just you got to get something out physically because once you start putting stuff in you realize that you know the way things fit up on like the dash and the way it fits on the seats and especially on the you know the 70s and 80s model c10 with this kind of like cockpit area nothing symmetrical it's more like a you know like a fighter jet you know in quotes where everything's faced more towards the driver over here so you can make everything square and symmetrical but then you've got things that you know don't quite line up and you know to be able to still function you know even though we're not going to use the uh the ashtray but you know we want it there if it's going to work i don't want to bring this way up here and so it's just little stuff like that so this is kind of how it looks the plan is about 15 to 16 inches wide on the radio area same thing here but then in between the seats i need to be about 17 and a half inches to kind of fill in my gaps here but you gotta have enough room to get the seat belts up through so that's kind of dimension wise the way i'm looking um i i definitely this this doesn't look too bad i know it's a little crude because it's cardboard and tape but i kind of I, I do like the looks of this much better something you know kind of like this like this area here i think is going to be the lid that that opens up and you've got all your storage here but then what i'm thinking is making this like 16 inches wide here and then add another layer of three quarter inch mdf on this and that'll give me my 17 and a half inches on the fat part here of the console but not have to add anything wider up here. So something like that's what I'm looking at. And then just going through and radius in the edges with a router and then wrapping it. Um, and then possibly doing something a little, you know, a little grab handle here to be able to pull up, not a half to. And then these little rectangles that I've drawn, just kind of an idea of like, bolting with like some button head screws because all this is going to get painted uh titanium metallic gray possibly going through and cutting some pieces of uh, uh, sheet metal and painting those while i'm painting the dash and doors and then making little trim pieces to put in here to kind of break up the big you know console area here but that's kind of what it you know what it would look like and it's not super you know, it is it is kind of big, but, you know, once you put the cup holders in it and you put the radio in it and you put the, you know, lid and armrest and all that on it, it's not quite as big. And I'll walk over to the other side to kind of show what it looks like over here. So that's kind of how it sits. Uh, there is going to be, you know, a gap here, but you still, I can't do it because this is just set in. But this does open up and still work. So this is version like 1.7. It's changed a handful of different times. I've drawn it up a couple of different times. I think this is like the second day I've worked on it. Um, the first day was just like piddling back and forth and drawing it and not liking it and trying to figure out, you know, what I really wanted to do. But, you know, it all kind of fits pretty good. I may bring the front up a little bit farther, but... I don't want to go up too far and be an issue, but it's all going to be black carpet and it's going to be black leather wrapped. So any gaps, you know, on the front, it's basically going to kind of blend in. So it's not like a tan, you know, black carpet and a tan console where, you know, stuff like that would be. And then, you know, back here, you still got all your room to be able to put stuff because we're probably not, gonna, there's, it's not going to have a bed cover or anything. So if you got bags or whatever, you can still fit those behind the seats. Um, so, like I said, this is, you know, 
a couple iterations of the first version. I may do another little side template. I know this is basically going to be the width of everything. This is how everything's going to sit in here. But I may do a different style instead of stair stepping down. I've got a couple different ideas of maybe taking all the way, you know, taking a different angle and coming down and then coming flat across and then maybe making this piece bigger, the plate bigger, and then just having like a little ring around the top and then a ring around here and then a ring down the side. I know it's kind of weird to say out loud, but I was, as I was putting this together, making the little plates, I'm like, well, I could, you know, I could have the lid have its own plate and then just this piece open up and then this down here, here, up. Oh shoot, I'm not, I may not be able to do that. So it may be, I don't know. I hadn't, hadn't got that far. I'm not sure. So like I said, that's kind of what it, it boils down to. You, you know, you got to start really drawing it out and measuring it because what, you know, works in your head may not work in all actuality, you know, because everything's a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller than, than what it actually is in, uh, in person. But if nothing else, I'm pretty pleased with the way this looks. So I, I think this will work. I'm sure a couple things will change as I go, but I think this is some really good bones to get started with. Actually, it fit a lot better. Than that. Well, you don't have the front to mess with either. Right. So it looks better than I thought it would. I might be leaning a little bit too. Well, you're probably not leaning too far then because I was looking for about 15 and a half ish, you know, give or take some because I didn't know how we were going to sit. It's a little over 15 and a half, it's a little under. Got the console in and it looks really good. I gotta do a little bit more trimming here. I'm probably gonna trim about a quarter inch off or so to uh, account for everything, but all looks pretty good in here. We've uh, kind of come to the conclusion and trying to figure out how we wanna logistically do everything. So make sure we can still wrap it um, and uh, get all the material on. Right now I've got these braces set in here and 
I have them marked three quarters of an inch. That way the MDF board will sit flush. But I think what the plan is, is I'm gonna pop these braces out, cut about a half inch off of them and set the MDF board instead of the board, which this isn't even a good piece. Instead of the board being flush, have it set down here about a half inch and then be able to have a lip on it. I'm just gonna go through, you can see, just gonna take the router bit, put a little radius on this, this edge here, and then put a big radius on this edge, and then have everything, you know, look a little neater, and I think it'll give it a little more um, depth to all the pieces, that way it's just not a big box. That's kind of what we're trying to avoid because there's a lot of real estate here, but I like the fitment of it. Oops, there's still plenty of room by the pedal. This is 15 and a half inches wide outside the outside. And then there's still plenty of room in between the seats. If I want to add that extra panel, if I don't, it's not awful. Um, it's only about two and a half inches from the closest point right there in the back. So I like the way it looks, but I got to pull it out and start doing some final trimming and adjusting. The cup holders, we're gonna do big cup holders that we can fit the uh, big stainless steel cups. They'll sit here in the bottom. The radio will go up here and then this panel will be flat and then the console lid We'll go here and then I'll build a box to set the console in. So that's kind of how it's looking so far. Like I said, going to be a little more logistics to get all of it, but I'm going to pull it back out, take it all back apart, trim some more stuff up, and uh, start cutting my final panels for all this. So it's the next day and uh, the box is really starting to take shape now. Took a while to kind of plan out all the panels on how they need to sit in here and what order they need to go in. But uh, to kind of give a little rundown, this panel here is going to be a solid piece that doesn't get removed. Just like those two braces that you saw underneath here. And then this panel will sit down first. The angled panel here will sit down. Then the lid will go down into there and then I'll build a box inside here. 
but I want this to be solid because the way my radio is, it's actually got flanges on each side of the radio. That way I can bolt onto here. Once I bolt this onto here, I've got some eighth inch plywood to uh, make a panel to go over the top of this and cover up the flanges on the radio. So then I'll have a piece there and then everything will be covered up. And then I'll have another piece of MDF here. One thing on building a box, um, MDF board is very forgiving, um, meaning that it's, er, it's very shapeable. It's uh, easy to sand, it's easy to route, it's easy to cut. But that being said, it's not very structural. So that's why um, I went with these one buys to uh, go with all my bracing and doing everything there. It's a lot stronger, it doesn't strip out. Now we will go back through and glue these in right before everything's finished, but I wanna just screw it in right now. That way I can uh, move things if I need to. Um, Everything's set down in a half inch. Um, I did that just for uh, give everything a little depth and be able to radius and make it look nice. The plan is to go with all the outsides going to be a black vinyl or leather, whatever you want to call it, kind of like what the seats are. And the inside pieces are going to be either a black or dark gray suede insert. So give everything a little bit of character and uh, make it look a little fancy. So that's kind of how it's all going now. It just takes, it's very tedious on getting, you know, all of your things put together because you don't want to accidentally cut panels and not be able to put it back together. Or, you know, it's really, you know, really heavy if you make one solid piece. You know, if this is all one main piece and everything's screwed together, it's going to weigh a ton. But and it doesn't really matter. It's just getting it in is, is a is a chore. So I'm trying to make it all easily accessible, easy to uh, fix and change if something happens. You know, I got to change radios. Um, something happens to the cup holders. Oh, and the cup holders are going to go right here, right in between these two braces. So that's kind of why I spread those apart. That way I wouldn't run into them. But that's, uh, like I said, that's kind of how it looks so far. It's just very time consuming and making sure you get everything right. Got everything pretty much drawn out. Um, all the panels are cut except for the inner panel for this one. And that's what I'm drawing up here. This, everything inside here is gonna get cut out and then beveled on the inside. And so it's gonna be to make it kind of a, a two-tone color because we're either gonna do, I may have said it before, a black leather and then either a black or dark gray suede um, as the two colors so the top panel will be a black leather to make it kind of soft to rest your arm on 
And then the insert piece here is gonna be the suede piece. So this would be cut out as a window. Then the other panel will be screwed to this. And then that way you can see it inside there. And then I've got this angled piece here and it's going to be just this piece. And then the plan is to cut a router, a slot underneath it, be able to put some LEDs to uh, kind of light everything up a little bit. Um, and then up here, we're gonna have a six and a half inch speaker and that's where it'll go. And then I've drawn out for the cup holders and this is actually not gonna cut, cut out. This is gonna be another added panel like this one. And so it's gonna set up, you know, three quarters of an inch and it's gonna get beveled on the outside and the cup holders are gonna get uh, cut into it and then laid on top. And it'll be um, whatever the opposite color uh, or opposite material of that panel is. So that's kind of how everything's looking. This side piece here, uh, as of right now, the plan is it's gonna get uh, yeah, 45, it's gonna get a 45 degree bevel at the top and then either a small radius at the bottom just to not make it sharp or on this bottom edge to not make it sharp. Uh, and then the top lid piece is gonna get, uh, the front is gonna get beveled top and bottom and then blended in the middle. And then the sides are just gonna be routered on the top side. So it'll kind of look like, kind of look like this here. So nice and easy to get hold of. You can still get your fingers under here so you don't have to worry about cutting a notch in it. So you can still pick up the lid, nice whole little pickup, and then hinge on the back side here on the back panel. So it'll lift up and then I'll have a hinge on top. So the uh, whole piece will come up. So that's kind of how it goes. Um, I've got this piece cut here to set on top and it's just going to sit there and kind of cover everything up and then the radio piece will uh, the eighth inch piece of board will get covered up over that to cover up the uh, flanges on the radio. I'm going to wait to cut these out because I think I already said it too. Uh, but I'm not going to be using these cup holders. These are short cup holders for the Ranchero, which I may or may not use anyway. But we're going to get some bigger ones to hold your stainless steel cups and turf tumblers and things like that. So that's uh, I'm going to wait to cut that one until those cup holders come in. But I'm going to go ahead and probably start cutting the bottom piece to the lid, cut the middle out, and start routering everything. All these pieces, I got to go through and sand this to make sure it's all flat. Then I can undo the box or take the box apart and then start uh, routering all my edges. So, well, all my edges except for under here. But anyway, that's uh, that's how it's looking so far. I'm pretty excited the way it looks. It's uh, really coming together pretty well. It, uh, it's taking shape.
Well, that's it. First, cup holders, back panel, good enough. And I don't think this will stay. That looks really good. So here's the fitment of everything and kind of how it's all looking so far. There's still plenty of room here to get the seat belts through and have, you know, all the area there. Um, if you watched, I notched out this in here and the plan is to put LED strips here and kind of shine directly down there to give it a little bit more accents. And I went ahead and 45 the top and it's got some pretty good fitment there. Um, all this is still kind of mocked up, but the lid should work just fine. But anyway, so lid, lid's on there, face panel. That one there, I've still got to uh, get everything set, but I wanted to do another mock-up before I started finishing everything um, on the fitment-wise. But everything looks like it fits pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the gaps and everything i've still got to square it up a little bit you can see it's a little closer over there than it is over here but i just wanted to double check and make sure but i'll pull it out go ahead and start mocking up the drill my hose for the speakers i might countersink the speakers into the side panels because on the driver's side it's real close to the I say it's real close. I mean, it's close-ish to the uh, gas pedal. So I might just for uh, functionality purposes, set them in a little bit instead of just bolt them to the outside. But other than that, I think everything's coming together pretty good. The radio, I still got to cut it out and then uh, cut the panel out, the uh, beauty panel to set over the top of it. But all the way, you kind of saw how I put it together. That's the way it's going to stay. That way it's easy to get out and put in because this thing is considerably heavy with all the panels in and it's, you know, it's enough of a bear to get it in by itself. You can see we've got the AC box down there. Uh, me and dad's, her dad's been working on all the AC systems. So we're going to get it put up there probably tomorrow. And so I got to get this box out. That way we can get it in there and then retest fit this to make sure we don't have any clearance issues. We shouldn't, should be plenty of room, but we just wanna double check to make sure our fit and finish is gonna be good. Still have plenty of room here with the carpet. You know, once we get carpet and sound deadener in, shouldn't have any issues. And the only things I may have to do is uh, trim the edges of these panels that set in, depending on how thick the material is, but I uh, still gotta get it coming. But I think the plan is to pull it back out, go ahead and get the speakers cut. I'm still waiting on cup holders to uh, cut that piece and uh, then build the actual uh, center console storage area in there. But I like the way it looks, you know, we've got, still got plenty of room back here to put little coolers and things like that. And it, uh, it looks really good in there. I'm, I'm pretty excited with the way it's all turned out. So a little bit more work and uh, it'll be ready to uh, call it done. I'm going to wait to wrap it until the interior is completely done. All this is painted, the carpet's in, and then that way we can test fit it because I don't want to wrap it and then something weird happened, the carpet's thicker than what we think, the sound deadeners, you know, something changes and we got to trim the box because it's much easier to trim the box than it is to move other stuff. So I'm going to wait to do that, but I just want to kind of get the box finalized and get the, everything mounted up the way it's going to be. And then uh, that way, when it's time to wrap it, all we've got to do is wrap it. And we're not cutting and finishing and building the, you know, cup holders and all that. So like I said, just a little bit more work and uh, it'll be, 
it'll be all the way done. And the way I'm gonna mount these panels is they've got some magnets. And the plan is, you've seen, I've got these little just braces here to set the panels on. And the plan is to countersink the magnets into the bottom of this panel and the top of those uh, uh, little rest braces and then kind of hold everything together is the plan. Um, I mean, I could go in and put little L brackets in it, but that seems uh, a little excessive for, for what this is. I mean, the panels aren't gonna rattle and they're not gonna come out. So just little magnets to hold them in, I think should be plenty fine, but that's, uh, that's how it sits. Got the main box knocked out this is more or less the final product me and dad got it finished putting together just now and uh just little stuff like those screws got to get swapped out to a different size they're too big um all these braces on the inside we're gonna swap out instead of mounting them on the outside where once we wrap it it's gonna be really hard to wrap and it'll never be like once you wrap it you can't fix anything or replace anything we're gonna swap and mount it with L brackets so everything's set so I'll just go in and re-screw my holes and mount it with some L brackets um, we've got the hinge on the inside it's done cup holders are done I've got to same thing those L brackets I got to finish mounting this but plenty of room under here that's that uh, adapter panel to countersink all my speakers in you can see now it sits just a little bit out to keep it out of the way of the driver's feet from uh, the gas pedal but it all turned out really good i'm i'm excited with how it's how it's looking but uh probably gonna get all this cleaned up and take it in the house that way it doesn't get damaged and uh start knocking out working on the doors and interior it's got to get uh, new paint so start stripping the doors down and take those off probably end of this week or tomorrow more than likely because day's about over so get everything put away but i'm super excited with how it all turned out and uh just one more piece to the big puzzle <laughs>